Ah yes, June is here. It's almost always in the month of June, which is commonly celebrated as Pride Month in secular culture, that I notice those within the church trying to reach our brothers and sisters in the LGBT plus community in ways that are, to put it bluntly, quite unproductive and sometimes quite unchristlike. So if this is the problem, what then is the solution? In regards to our online activity and the ways in which we represent our Lord Jesus Christ publicly in the social media realm, we have to be mindful and prudent in the things we choose to publicly post and repost. Before you publicly post anything regarding homosexuality, I urge you, my fellow disciples, to honestly ask yourselves, will these posts productively engage our brothers and sisters in the LGBT plus community to want to know the Lord and His church better? Does this kind of content accurately represent the heart of Jesus towards our brothers and sisters who have LGBT plus experiences? And please don't come at me with the whole argument of, well, truth is love. Absolutely. Truth is a necessary element of authentic Christian love. We can't have the fullness of love without truth. But brothers and sisters in Christ, I would like to remind us that even sacred scripture warns that if we preach the truths of the gospel without love and charity, we are no more useful than resounding gongs and clanging cymbals. I don't write the rules, guys. So I invite the body of Christ during this month of June to honestly examine our online presences and strive to accurately represent the church we love and the Lord we serve, especially towards our brothers and sisters in the LGBT plus community. Sacred Heart of Jesus, teach us to receive, encounter, and love more like you do. Amen?